Another interesting claim made by proponents of the liver flushing is that I've actually read where people have claimed to have passed literally cups of stones with each single liver flush. The problem is that the gallbladder is very small and it can't hold that many stones. This tells us that the so-called stones are not coming from the gallbladder, but are actually coming from some other part of the body, which in this case is going to be the formation in the intestines. But still, some of the proponents will sit there and try to claim that they're actually coming from the liver. The problem with this hypothesis, number one, is that liver stones are extremely rare, so much more rare than gallstones. Another problem is that some of the gallstones will migrate into the liver to form the liver stones instead of being formed in the liver and migrating into the gallbladder. So these stones are not coming from the gallbladder, they're actually being formed in the intestines.